Maka's Guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here with Life is Strange, episode number three, all optional photos for the camera eye achievement slash trophy guide. You'll also additionally get one achievement or trophy for each individual picture you take, grand total of 11 achievements or trophies. Now, as always, you can use your main menu there in look in your journal in order to find uh, some rough outlines of what you're going to be looking for. For optional photo number one, you're going to go into Victoria's room inside of the girls dorm dormitories then look through her trash and make sure you inspect the second object which is this box and i did have to click on it in order to read it to get some more information about it in order to be able to get the actual photo opportunity to trigger uh, so once you do that make sure you look onto this action figure on the left of the desk and you'll be able to take a photo of it and that's going to be one out of ten Now for the second optional photo, what we're going to do is come outside and then go to the right hand side from where you exit and you'll see the squirrel on a bench near a light post. What you'll need to do is go up very close to that squirrel and then rewind time all the way to the very beginning in order to catch it in a small kind of loop where it dances with some of the fireflies and then you'll be able to take a picture of it. Now it only works if you rewind time all the way to the beginning and you're very very close to it so keep that in mind. Look at the lens and say, nut. Gotcha. Now, photo opportunity or optional photo number three, very easy. Uh, once we get inside the school with Chloe here, what we're gonna wanna do is go to the science room. Inside the science room, there's two optional photos. For number three, what we're gonna wanna do is walk forward and you'll find a fish tank kind of along the far end of the or the far wall from where we enter. What we're going to need to do is turn the light on and then snap a photo of that fish tank. Thanks fish. Nice work. Now the next one is very simple. From the fish tank, just turn to your right hand side and head to the back of the classroom and find the skeleton and you'll take a photo of it. Now number five is quite easy, it just takes the correct angle, but once you make it into the principal's office with Chloe, just make sure you take a photo of her. You can collect the evidence and then take a photo of her, but I probably recommend just doing it right away as soon as you enter the room and have her sit on the cozy chair. Now a little bit later on in the story you'll wake up and get dressed and you'll uh, be asked to head downstairs but before you do that make sure you head into the washroom which is available on the right hand side after exiting Chloe's room. Make sure you look in the mirror and then take a selfie and you'll get your sixth optional photo. Now, number seven took a little bit of trial and error for me, but after preparing dinner with Joyce and before sitting down at the table, you'll have an optional kind of objective of shooing away a bird. So what you're going to want to do is, before sitting down, make sure you open that window. And if you walk around for a bit, you don't need to walk around, it doesn't really matter, but it will trigger some dialogue that can help you know that you're in the right spot. Um, Joyce, which is Chloe's mom, will mention something about shooing a bird out of here. And what you're going to want to do is find this bird sitting on this cabinet. Now, this bird will be there before the dialogue. So you can just open the window and shoo the bird away without her letting you know. But if you shoo it once, it'll fly to the chimney. Shoo it twice, it'll fly through the window and then onto the fence in the backyard. And once it's on the fence in the backyard, use the sliding door to exit the house and go take a picture of it. And that's how you're going to get number seven.
Now, number eight isn't too bad. Once you reach the diner area, you'll see that giant red truck in front of me. That's what we're going to need to take a picture of, but we'll only be able to do that if we uh, go and talk to this guy standing in front of the diner. What we're going to need to do is speak to him one time and go through the full dialogue until he talks, starts talking about his truck. After that, rewind your conversation and you can start the conversation by talking about his truck and then you'll have an option between two things and you'll want to choose Rachel Amber as the topic of conversation. After that, he'll allow you to take a picture of his uh, uh, truck in the background and you'll want to do that in order to unlock your eighth optional photo. Now the ninth one is very very close to the last one we just took. Head to the alley behind the diner where you can find the homeless person and before we kind of reach her on the left hand side here near the garbage dump you'll find a bird with a spiral of ants around it. So you want to take a picture of that in order to grab your ninth optional photo and we only have one left. Now I'm going to put a quick spoiler warning because this next collectible could give away elements of the story that not everyone wants ruined for them. Optional photo number 10, once we learn our new ability of being able to look at photos and somewhat time travel into the now distant past, picture. we'll so uh, end up in a kitchen and we'll be able to pick up the Polaroid camera it's that really uh, Chloe's dad and leaves on the counter. And once you pick it up, you'll be able to take a picture of both of them. And that'll be 10 out of 10. I did already have it, so you won't see it unlock on screen. That should be all 11 achievements or trophies for you guys. Just go on to complete the chapter in order to get everything you need. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.